how does karma actually work? How would you describe it in, in terms of my big toe? Well, karma, I think, has become, in many people's minds, a much more complicated and, and uh, intricate thing than it really is. I think karma is a very, very simple concept. And that is, there's no free lunch. If you have to evolve. You have to do that by your own choices. And if you don't get something, let's say you're an angry person and you fly off the handle and you get upset and you break things, maybe kill people because you get angry. Okay. And anger management is a big issue of yours. You have to outgrow that period. You don't get a pass just because you've been trying to outgrow it for a long time. So you don't graduate, you don't move forward, you don't evolve until you've done the work. So karma really is, if you don't do it this time, you get another shot next time. If you don't learn it now, you have a chance to learn it later. And that never stops. So it may take you a thousand incarnations to learn something, or it may only take one or two. It depends on you. So the idea in karma that, oh, if I, you know, if I go murder Joe, then in the next lifetime, Joe has to murder me, or somebody does, you know, that kind of detailed, you know, tit for tat kind of thing. I don't think that is a, is a real thing. That doesn't really make any sense to me. But the fact that, okay, I killed Joe, well, now I'm going to have to crawl out of that hole. I'm going to have to try to evolve. That was a maybe a de-evolutionary thing. And now I've got even further to go to get back to where I was. I've de-evolved. There's no free lunch. I'm going to have to make good choices to drag myself out of that hole, as well as go forward past the point that I was last time. So every time you make a poor choice, that's a hole that you're going to have to claw your way out of. And that's karma because there is no way to evolve without doing the work. And it seems actually more difficult than the usual notion of karma, because having to evolve back to a certain point and then climb back up makes it a very uh, difficult thing more than the punishment of, well, you would have to be murdered or any other kind of thing. It, it seems like that is a very difficult thing. And if you keep choosing to make that kind of choice, um, you're in a very, very difficult spot. Mm -hmm. Right. If you make poor choices, it makes it easier to make more poor choices. If you make good choices, it's easier to make more good choices. Yes. And you've often said, well, there's no punishment, but that is a huge thing to take on to reverse all of those things yeah. that were not good there's, choices. There is no punishment. The system doesn't say you've been bad, so you're going to have to suffer because of it. It just says <laughs> you've been bad, you've de-evolved, now get to work. You're going to have to evolve yourself, and you're going to have to start at a lower point spot than where you were because you've de-evolved i think it's a good point your theory as compared to some other um beliefs or things like that that um you are responsible for what you do you're responsible for your choices you're responsible for your growth it's a very um difficult and not comforting thing to know that you are the one that has to do all the work. Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes the system might put you back in a situation to let you experience something from the other side. So let's say you were a bully and you were a bully all your life and you bullied people. Well, perhaps in another life, you were, and let's say you had that life. And instead of seeing yourself as a bully, you see yourself as just superior, stronger, better, smarter than other people, and you just don't tolerate stupidity very well, you see? So let's say your ego is in your way of growing up. Well, the system might just put you in a situation where you get bullied. 
just to show you what the other side of that situation feels like. So you can, you know, if it's part of your growth path, but that's not punishment for being a bully. That's the system trying to give you some situation that will help you grow, that will help you understand. It's not a punishment and it's not, oh, I got this because I was a bully. You got this because the system thought it would help you grow up, give you a situation that would be good for you. So sometimes you do get put back in situations where you get to see how, you know, the other side sees it just to help broaden out your perspective. Just like you're going to be male, you're going to be female, you know, you're going to be rich and poor, you're going to be all sorts of different situations because that diversity helps you grow. So yes, you get different situations, but it's not punishment. It's not that, oh, okay, I did, you know, I shot a bunch of people. Now I'm going to have to be shot. That's, doesn't make any sense. That may not be the best way for you to grow. Mm -hmm. If the, the system says, well, that's probably not going to help him grow, but he shot people. So now we're going to have to shoot him. You see, it, it puts a, a constraint on the system as how they can help, how they can set up the next learning experience. So that's why karma as a real detailed thing doesn't make sense. It actually prevents the system from helping people grow up because I understand. It, it gets rid of flexibility for the system to come up with with creative solutions right from what i've gathered um it's a very intricate system and a very individualized towards the uh, individuated unit of consciousness or the free mm -hmm. will awareness unit that is playing this avatar i guess that would amount to the to the experience of the, of the individuated unit of consciousness, but it's all kind of custom made for the yes. best possible results. Is that right? That's right. If particularly if you are what a person of interest to the LCS, if you're trying to grow, if you're trying to learn, if you are making an effort to make good choices, then the system will bend over backwards to try to put you in situations, give you information, give you synchronicities that help you along that process. If you are not trying, if you couldn't care less about growing up or being helpful or useful, and you're still in the mode of, you know, grab whatever you can take, then there's not much the system can do for you. You know, so it's then not going to be quite as specific, but in as much as you try, the system tries to help. In as much as you don't try, well, good luck next time. The system still actually is going to try to help. It's just not, it's just, it's not much the system can do about it. You're not trying. So it's not that the system doesn't want to help you now. It's just that it's hard for the system to give you any help. You don't accept any help. 